I'm very excited to be here today as we proclaim this block, East 33rd Street, as Frank Robinson Way. Let's give him a hand. Before we get started, I'd like to thank uh, DOT Director Michelle Pouchot and her talented team for organizing today's event and making these special ceremonial signs. I also want to thank the Baltimore Orioles for helping us to honor baseball great Frank Robinson. And I want to extend my sincere thanks to Ms. Robinson's family for joining us today. Is, are they here today? They're not here? Okay, we'll see them tomorrow. Uh, we'll see him Saturday. And lastly, I'd like to thank our special guest, the Oyo Bird, for being a part of today's celebration and for doing such a fantastic job entertaining baseball fans. With the start of baseball season now upon us, the city of Baltimore wants to honor the late Frank Robinson for all that he achieved during his astounding baseball career. As a young boy who dreamed of playing baseball in the major leagues, Mr. Robinson stood out as a larger-than-life figure. I followed his career closely from his accomplishments on the field to his further shuddering racial barriers by becoming the first African-American manager of Major League Baseball in 1974. Nearly four decades after Mr. Robinson made history, I had the honor of partnering with him through my annual President's Cup High School Baseball, to baseball Tournament. Mr. Robinson was generous with his time and jumped at the chance to teach a new generation of student athletes about the lifelong benefits of teamwork and perseverance. I teased Mr. Robinson in 2012 as we prepared to throw simultaneously ceremonial first pitches during my high school baseball showcase at Oyo Park Academy Yards, and I didn't reach the plate. <laughs> yeah, um, on the outside, I absurdly talked up my youthful pitching form that would have caused him to strike out, a statement that left both of us laughing uncontrollable. On the inside, however, I was filled with pride. I looked at my childhood hero and felt immense gratitude that he continued to spend his years teaching young people a little about the game of baseball and a lot about how to be courageous in the face of seemingly insurmountable obstacles. On behalf of the citizens of Baltimore, we salute Mr. Robinson for serving as a role model for the ages. As we gather here this morning along this stretch of East 33rd Street, we stand where Memorial Stadium once stood and where Frank Robinson made history. The city wants to honor the memory of Frank Robinson, who made history as a baseball player, manager, and league exec executive here in Baltimore. The orange and black ceremony signs that you see here this morning have been installed to honor the late, great Frank Robinson and all that he achieved. So today we are officially proclaiming this portion of East 33rd Street as Frank Robinson Way. We are honored that this baseball great was once a player and manager for the Baltimore Orioles, that he made baseball history right here in this city. And before I um, stop, I want to make sure that um, I introduce um, and recognize Councilwoman Mary Pat Clark. This is her district. Yay. I want to recognize her. And also recognize our uh, police commissioner, um, Commissioner Harrison. And um, at this time, I guess I'll turn it over to you, okay. Director Pusher. We have a major from Northeast, a major Oh, Major Preston, I'm sorry. Uh, we have a number of people here. Um, I just want to thank everybody for being here. And at this time, I'm going to turn it over to uh, Director Portia. Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, we've got the Orioles with us today, too. So I think at this point, we're ready to do the big unveil, right? So, uh, oh, of course. So, Councilwoman, would you please give us some words? Councilwoman thank Clark. You. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Uh, Go O's! Yeah. Uh, Mr. President, um, you made it to the plate in other ways, I know reluctantly, and we are very honored that you're here with us this morning as you begin this temporary leadership of our city. Thank you. Thank you. You've uh, got the experience and the character and the and the caring about people that it requires for us to get through these difficult times. Also very pleased to see our n not any longer new commissioner here. <laughs> He's like uh, part of the family now and gives us great hope for the kinds of progress already evident here. We um, and our major Preston from Northeast and also Although they're standing by their engine because they got to jump in it if needed. Uh, we have Engine Company 31 with us, and they are stalwarts here. There is no one who is honored more in Baltimore City 
thank Frank Robinson Sr. for so many, many reasons of excellence, integrity, just representing us the way we're so proud always to be represented. And all the hundreds of people that now live at Stadium Place live on Frank Robinson Way. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Ms. Pat. All right, so once again, we're going to do the, the big unveiling uh, because East 33rd Street will now be proclaimed Frank Robinson Way. We're going to do a countdown. Three, two, one. Yeah!